Hey everyone, I've got a special episode for you today. A lot of you have asked, you know that I travel, you know that I travel light. I've talked about my travel bag before and a number of you are, are pretty curious and saying, hey Asul, what do you travel with? What's in that bag? They know that I've been gone over two months with just this little 20 liter bag. So today we're gonna look inside and see what I travel with. Uh, like I've said before, I could use this system for over a year of traveling. And essentially the way I look at it is, you know, essentially I pack for four days. And that's my advice to you is to pack for four days. Don't pack for a month. Don't pack for, for three months. Certainly don't try to pack for a year because you're gonna have way too much stuff. So this bag, this is not a sponsored video. This bag's made by a company called Nomadic. N-O-M-A-T-I-C. Um, I'm a fan of theirs. Uh, and this, you're gonna see this bag's got a lot of pockets. Uh, you guys know that I, uh, I spend my money wisely and I think about investments, but I'm, I'm willing to pay up for a quality device, a uh, quality piece of gear, and this certainly falls into that category. However, you don't need something like this. I mean, truthfully, this is about a $300 travel bag, right? That's an expensive book bag. For over a year, this is the bag I traveled in, which is just a regular college kid's uh, travel bag. And you know what? I have another, I have two of these bags, and one of them is so beat up uh, that eventually it was gonna fall apart. And I didn't want that happening on my trip. So this bag served me very, very well. When, when this bag's brother uh, started to go bad uh, is when I, when I got this bag here. Okay, so let's, let's jump in. The first thing I wanna show you is the electronics, right? Because when, when I'm traveling, I'm often working remotely. So this bag here, this is my laptop. You can see I've got um, my, my power cord here for my computer. Um, I don't use it often, but this is kind of my backup. I do have, I do have an iPad uh, that I travel with. It doesn't take much room. Uh, and I like this because it's, it's padded. And here's a little secret. Uh, this bag, if you can see down here, this bag doesn't go all the way down. It's stitched about an inch away from the bottom when it's up. So if I ever put this bag down too hard, it's not banging on my laptop. So that's, that's something that I like. Okay, so that's the electronics. And then let's get into the, the heart of what I travel with. Okay. So, since we started with the electronics, let me continue with that theme. This is where I keep all my charging cords, uh, et cetera. So, I really like this. You can find something like this on Amazon. It is uh, one cord. Here, let me unwind it for you. It's one cord that has multiple, see it's, it goes into the um, USB port here. But on the other end, in, in this case, it's got two lightning connectors. I'm an Apple fanboy. Sorry if you guys uh, aren't Apple fanboys. And then this is for my Apple Watch. So with, with one plug, I, I can charge three different devices. I have another one uh, that also charges uh, with USB uh, stuff. And then because charging my phone is so important, right? It's how I record these videos. By the way, I wanna, I wanna thank my uh, crack uh, excellent expert uh, videographer today. It's my daughter, Savannah. Thank you, Savannah, for videotaping. Normally, you guys have me holding the camera up, but it'd be hard to do a video like this. Okay, because the phone is such an important part of the traveling, I've got another cord, and I like these things to be long. This is, I think, what, probably four or five feet long. Uh, so I, you know, if I'm if I'm in a cafe, if I'm in a restaurant and there's not a plug by me, but there's a plug next door, hopefully it can reach. You also saw for my MacBook, when I, when I brought out my computer, I, didn't, I don't know if you noticed, that's a MacBook. I wanna share, you know, that is a 2012 MacBook. So yes, the Mac products are expensive, but you know what, that computer is 11 years old. It's still running well. The, the only negative is the battery only lasts about two to three hours. You know, the new ones will last like eight to 12 hours. So that's why I had the long cord for my MacBook. This is for my iPad. This is, 
there, this is, I like to have a, a magic marker that I travel with. And all of these things I can get to with, without actually looking inside my bag. I can just reach in and get. Um, and then inside of here, uh, some really important stuff. Here's my passport that I keep. Notice it's on an inside pocket. So if somebody tries to pickpocket me, I've never had a problem with that. I try to stay fairly aware though. Uh, that's there. Uh, and then I have one envelope. Uh, you, I don't know if you can see it or not. It says non-USD. So this is my foreign money. And I have another envelope that I use for the current country uh, that I'm in. So I have uh, an envelope for my U.S. money. I have an envelope for my non-U.S. money for the country other than what I'm in. And then I have a third envelope. Uh, I don't travel with a lot of money with me. I don't think that's smart. Uh, there is a credit card company called Wise. Uh, it used to be uh, Transfer Wise, but now it's just called Wise, W-I-S-E. Um, and it's a credit card that lets you um, actually put money in the local currency. So that's what I do uh, financially. Okay, now let's see what I have. And you're gonna be shocked. There's not a whole lot in here, but remember, I pack for four days. So uh, this, this sweatshirt here, I should take that off because this is a luxury when I'm traveling. Sometimes I can travel with it, sometimes I cannot. So this truthfully is, is how I uh, travel and then I have this coat here instead of you guys have seen this in a lot of videos uh, I use this coat instead of a sweatshirt now sweatshirts are a lot more comfortable uh, But I have to give that up. This is a raincoat uh, that packs up nice and light uh, This is a hat Keep me warm on those on those cold evenings. You guys have seen this in the videos as well Okay, my toiletry bag I like to carry a small towel in case uh, I'm, I'm you know, at, at an airport and I want to shave or something like that. I don't have to use a paper towel. Um, also, I can use this uh, if I'm getting in an airport workout. If you're interested in how I work out when I'm traveling, you can watch this video over here. Okay, one pair of shorts and only one pair of shorts. And I have, I like these uh, polyester shirts. Uh, and if you watch my video on working out on the road, You'll see why I like these polyester shirts, but I, it doubles as a shirt, but also a piece of exercise equipment for me. Here's my pair of shorts. This is uh, to keep my teeth from grinding. Hopefully you guys don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now we're, we're through most of it. This bag here, by the way, so this bag, my main bag, is 20 liters, and it'll expand to 30 liters. Now, most airlines, the, the limit is 18 to 20 liters. So the, the version that you see it in now is the 20 liter version. I do travel with a, a quality thick plastic bag because sometimes you can get by, even though you're, you're, you're only supposed to have one bag, it looks like you bought something in the airport. So sometimes they'll let you get away with that. Uh, so I have that bag here in case you know, I want to take my sweatshirt. I want to, the other luxury that I don't get to take that I wish I could is sweatpants. It sounds silly, but at the end of the evening, it's kind of how I relax is I use uh, my sweatshirt and I use my sweatpants and, and just kind of relax. I also, you can see here all the different pockets. There's four of these main pockets. This is really, really important. Again, none of this stuff is sponsored. This is by Anchor, A-N-K-E-R. Uh, and this battery um, will really keep my phone charged for about 12 hours. Uh, so if I'm on a bus trip or I'm on a train, this will keep my this will keep my my phone charged. So having an external battery is really important. You don't want to travel with that. So I also have this smaller pack that fits nicely in my back pocket, and this is good for about two charges on my cell phone. So that's. If I'm out and about in a city, I don't want to carry that big charger with me. I'll just put that little charger that uh, I can go through my phone. I start with the charge and that's good for two more charges. So that should get me through any day. And then, you know, probably more information than you want, but uh, three pairs of underwear plus the pair of underwear that I'm wearing. 
this is for working out. These are my workout shorts, so I guess I lied. If I needed to save space so I would not have those casual shorts, I would just have the workout shorts. Um, and then three t-shirts plus the one I'm wearing, four t-shirts. Then I have my dress shirt here so when I'm on a Zoom call, I can look professional. Uh, and then four pairs of socks. These are for my workouts, so really uh, five pairs of socks because obviously I'm wearing a pair of socks here. Now I wanna point out what's not in this bag. There's not an extra pair of shoes, right? I have one pair of shoes and I'm careful. These shoes are good for jogging as well. And I, I like the black shoes because you can kind of wear them in a business casual setting. I can also jog with those. Um, but the other thing that's not in here is an extra pair of jeans. In an ideal world, I'd, I'd carry an extra pair of jeans. So for me, the cost of being able to travel lightly, being able to have everything on my bag is, I'd love to have a second pair of jeans when I travel. Frankly, when I do my laundry, I wear one of my shorts, even if it's 20 degrees outside because those are my only other quote unquote pants. Um, so I'd love to have an extra pair of jeans. I'd love to have a sweatshirt. I'd love to have sweatpants and really, that's all that that I miss. So this bag and I have bonded. I should show you a couple other things. I keep my uh, glasses in here. Anything else that's worth showing. Um, then I have this little pocket here. This, this pocket here is really my treasure chest. Everything is easy to get to. I think it's important to have one of these dongles because I am an Apple guy. Uh, I do have, I carry two of these. This is a luxury. So I am an AirPod guy. Um, they're super expensive, unfortunately, but uh, I find it's worth it. These are the AirPod Pro, so they do some noise cancellation. Uh, and then it, you know, it's important that I, I'm able to communicate with people. So I've got my, my normal wired earbuds and then my dongle to hook them up in my phone. And obviously the normal port will work on my, uh, on my MacBook. So hopefully this has been helpful. Again, it's the Nomadic bag. It's right now it's in the 20 liter uh, 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 configuration, but it does easily expand to 30 liters, although you might get charged for luggage. Uh, and you know, when I was in Southeast Asia and when I was in uh, Europe, oftentimes the airfare to get from one country to the other was 20, 30, $40. But you know how much they want to charge if you take a bag with you? They wanted an extra 50 to $75. So, you know, I, I, I try to save my money for adventures uh, and I'm kind of an accidental minimalist, right? I mean, over the last 20 months, I've lived over 12 months, probably closer to 18 months out of this bag and the other bag that I showed you. So I really love this bag. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, as the kids say, thumbs for likes, subs for love, and comments for a soul. If you like today's video, I know you're gonna love this video over here where I talk about how much money the average retiree remakes in this video down here where I talk about five reasons to retire as soon as you can so you can start your adventures. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.